So we now have a bit of a clearer idea of what lies ahead for the future of the Sonic the Hedgehog video games. What's crackalackin' fellow home dogs? We're back at long last with a Sonic news update. This comes from an Otaquest interview with the leader of Sonic Team, Takeshi Izuka. When Otaquest asked him about the balance of 2D and 3D in Sonic games, he had this to say. Not much time has passed since the distinction between classic and modern was made. In fact, it was since 2011's Sonic Generations title. Even before that, in addition to the 3D main series, there was a high demand for the 2D action games, such as the Sonic Advanced series. So we revived the old Sonic as Classic Sonic for the 20th anniversary title, Sonic Generations. We initially thought that it would be a 20th anniversary project only. However, after that, we had a strong demand for a new Classic Sonic standalone title. That became 2017's Sonic Mania. We would like to take good care of these two very popular iterations of the Sonic in the future. I'm grateful for all of the fans who have loved and supported Sonic for so long, and I hope that we can make it a year to celebrate the 30th anniversary with all the fans in order to meet their desires. We would like to continue to grow our brand as one that can be enjoyed by people around the world, so we look forward to your support. So, personally, I think there has been a great deal of concern among Sonic fans that Classic Sonic has been receiving a lot more attention in this past decade and that Classic Sonic could edge out the modern Sonic. After all, games like Sonic Mania are incredibly cheap to make, it was a huge hit. In 2017, people responded much better to the Classic Sonic project, Sonic Mania, than the modern Sonic project, Sonic Forces. But I think what Takeshi Izuka has to say here can put those fears to bed somewhat. While it does definitely appear that Classic Sonic is here to stay, and will continue to be a newly revived staple of the Sonic the Hedgehog series, this should come as some kind of reassurance for modern 3D Sonic fans like myself, as Takeshi Izuka does make pretty clear that he is interested in taking very good care of both versions of Sonic. So I'm guessing what this could also mean is that for future 2D Sonic games, such as like when they've had the Sonic Rush series and the Sonic Advance series, maybe anything going forward like that will have a classic Sonic aesthetic maybe? I, I, I don't know for sure. But he stated that all through the 3D modern Sonic era, there have always been 2D Sonic games running alongside that. And he's absolutely right. If you look back on the 2000s for Sonic, you had Sonic Advance, Sonic Rush, Sonic 4. What I am hoping for now though is that they do commit a little bit more to that distinction between classic and modern Sonic. By which I mean not so many crossovers between the two, but letting them have their own games because the past few modern Sonic games have made efforts to kind of merge modern and classic in some ways. And I don't just mean the games that have classic and modern Sonic in the same game. Modern Sonic and classic Sonic have always had two pretty different aesthetics to them. And I don't just mean in character design, I mean in environments as well. And even like say Sonic Lost World has been paying a lot of tribute to the classic Sonic games, really trying to get that sort of aesthetic into modern Sonic's world as much as they can. I would say they should start moving modern Sonic back in the direction of being this sort of urban hard rock hero that plays strictly in 3D, or if not that, at least mostly in 3D. During the 25th anniversary event, Classic Sonic definitely got the preferential treatment because not only did he get Sonic Mania, he also played a role in Sonic Forces, and Sonic Forces was chock full of 2D gameplay, whether you were playing as Classic Sonic or not. So what I'm saying here is I'm hoping that whatever this 30th anniversary brings us, if they do want to give something for both Classic Sonic fans and Modern Sonic fans, that it be a strictly 3D Modern Sonic game and a Sonic Mania-esque title on the side, and that they don't have classic and modern crossing over for this next game. I mean, Sonic Team have listened to fans at different times. They often do pull away the wrong lessons, and I think games like Sonic 4 and Sonic Forces are very much evidence of that. So I'm hoping that from the 30th anniversary going forward, you know, further lessons will be learned. And as Izuka says, he wants to meet the desires of all of the fans. So I'm hoping that we'll have a game that satisfies those classic Sonic fans and a game that satisfies the modern Sonic fans. As opposed to the whole thing of having a game that tries to satisfy everyone 
and in turn has not enough of anything to satisfy anyone at all. Izuka also does state that he wants to make the 30th anniversary a year that all of the fans can celebrate, which would suggest that a Sonic game or Sonic games could be coming in 2021. However, nothing has been announced yet. Now, I understand people are a bit worried about that because Sonic Forces was announced in the summer of 2016 and released in the winter of 2017. And I mean, part of me thinks maybe they'll do it like Sonic Forces where the game was a 25th anniversary game, but released on the 26th year. The announcement was the 25th anniversary. But at the same time, if you remember, Sonic Generations was announced in around, I don't know, March of 2011 and released in the winter of 2011. These things aren't always announced even a year in advance, so maybe we will be getting a Sonic game or two Sonic games sooner than we think. But what we do at least have a little clarity on now is that neither of our two versions of Sonic will be going away. With Sega perhaps taking a leaf from Mario's book, how you have the 3D Mario games and then you have the new Super Mario Brothers range. It's just that in this case, Sonic will be sporting his classic design, which is again, not too far from the whole Mario having Paper Mario and Ordinary Mario. So if they can commit to this, the future of Sonic really is bright. And the whole distinction between modern and classic might not be as strange as we maybe once thought. Well, now I hand it over to you, fellow home dogs. What do you guys think? And if you did enjoy this video, might I ask you a favor? Please hit subscribe and that notification bell as your way of telling YouTube keep it coming. Likes are also highly appreciated. Now, I'm always trying to make my content better and more consistent, but this does come at a financial cost. And ad revenue isn't always going to cover putting a roof over my head and covering the subscription fees for the software I use to make these videos. So if you really enjoy this content and you feel like lending me a hand by any chance, I would be so grateful if you would consider joining my Patreon, which will also give you access to the Channel Pup official Discord server. I also have a written blog called Dr. Blogtopus over on channelpup.net. That is where I put my more critical and analytical stuff. And in the description below are links to different social media platforms where you're more than welcome to come and interact with me. So that's it for today, fellow home dogs. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on another video.